you. tell you. Thank you. But let's talk about your music still. Yeah. Um, have you done collabs before? Um, not really. Uh -huh. I once did a song with a Kisumu based artist. Okay. In his mind, you know, I was just singing for him a chorus. Uh -huh. song, yeah. So that's something you will intend to work on. Yeah. In other ways, I'm asking who are you collaborating with next? next? Year, uh -huh. I have like a lineup. Yeah. But you know, sometimes you're not supposed to say. Oh yeah. Until like we finalized everything. Okay. But we have done a couple of songs with very big names in the industry, mm -hmm. so I can't just wait for all of you to see it. Well, this is amazing. <laughs> I feel like we should stand up from now on. We've been sitting yeah, for quite a been... while, uh, irrespective yeah. of our height, you know. I know we're so tall. Uh, talk about it, but anyway. Anyway, someone just called you. I was yeah. looking at the Twitter handle. Yeah. Someone just compared you to Vanessa D. Yeah, I get that a lot. I don't know why people compare me to Vanessa D. Uh -huh. I don't know if because we are both petite. I honestly don't know. Or Maybe the music. Or the music. Uh -huh. I know. I don't no. think so. We do similar music. Yeah, it's you different. Know, huh? She's very diva, you yeah. know, but I really look up to her. I think that's why I really look up to her. She's managed to have a brand for herself that that can last for a lot of years. So that's what I'm trying to do with myself. Because we, we find that most female artists, after two years, you can't really stand on your own as a female artist. So yeah. my, my team and I, we're trying to make a, a female brand, or rather an artist, a female artist who's really trying to have a very stable, long-lasting brand. I know you guys are going to support me, and 2018 was a warm-up. Y'all can't wait to see me on 2019. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, so the next song we should anticipate is yeah. over in 2019. I'm, I'm actually doing collabs back to back. Okay. Back to back. Like, I'm not doing singles for a while, so 2019 is more back to back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you mentioned that you've just finished campus, yeah, yeah. you know? You're relatively young, yeah. you know, age-wise. You're yeah. relatively young in the music yeah. industry. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure there are a couple of challenges that yeah. came through, yeah. especially due to, you know, when us petite people are looked at, <laughs> yeah. you know, they don't think that small, th uh, great things come in small packages. Small packages, packages and it's true. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. So uh -huh. in terms of the challenges yeah. for any young upcoming artist who really yeah. wants to, you know, perhaps put one leg into the music industry, yeah. what would you mention to them? For me, what I, I would tell someone is for a butterfly, before it becomes a butterfly, it starts as a caterpillar. Like it, it crawls, it crawl, yeah. uh, crawls, kidogo. <laughs> then it it be, it's matures to a caterpillar, then it starts fl flying. So you have to start small. You have to really practice patience. You have to wait for yourself to be able to have the wings to fly. So just trust the process, respect the process. You have to do free shows. You don't start and people are, are paying you 100 Gs for so a show. A couple of free shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, actually, I started uh, doing free shows. I used to do live music. Like, I never used to do playback. I used uh -huh. to do live music at uh -huh. Dunga Hill Camp by some Mzungu. Shout out to Jack Bal, who gave me my first gig. And he used to give me gigs every weekend. So I used to get paid a thousand, which is fair. From Kisumu to Maseno, and by the time you have a guitarist, the money is not there. So yeah. you have to be able to do a lot of free shows. You have to be able to network, do a lot of meetings, try to look for a team. A team is everything. You can't do everything with yourself. You know, like you have to get a team that's really going to plan your career, give your career plan, and help you tell, like most of the time when I post something on social media, my manager is very strict. Yeah. Like, what have you written? What is the caption? What is the English? People don't know that. Like, I, I read the captions my own, but he's trying to proofread and see, is this caption really related with something that's going to taint who you are? So it's, you have to take music as a professional, as a profession, sorry. <laughs> I, I know, <laughs> time jokes. Okay, but anyway. Uh -huh. Talents. I, I'm uh -huh. sure you're talented. Yeah. Obviously, you yeah. can sing, you can do all that, you can perform. Yeah. What, uh, any other talents oh people my should God. know about? <laughs> I eat a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you can't be serious. For real. Uh -huh. Whenever we go for gigs, my manager is a very. Chakula, chakula <laughs> he was shocked. Yeah. We buy like the big fish in Kisumu for. Let's say we have, for example, the other weekend we had a show in Kisumu, yeah. a festival. For the big fish, like in a good place, now it's like three Gs or something. Uh -huh. So we ate, it was my manager, the driver, and I. Yes. So we cleared the table. Then there was another guy on the next table. So they're like staring at us. And all of you are slim, and you're really eating and Finished finishing the bit. <laughs> so I think it's a hidden talent. Okay. <laughs> 
but I don't know where the food goes to. It's fine. We'll find that out <laughs> next time on the Friday yeah. briefing. But right now, mm -hmm. I want to test the waters. You know, perhaps you have a hidden <laughs> talent hidden that you didn't know about. <laughs> yeah. So we just want to take you through a mm -hmm. particular story. Yeah. You'll be the anchor of the day. Do you want to quote? No. It's fine. Uh, okay. Let me just be you for you, a minute. Okay, so, so let's <laughs> or see. be a Zuri oh, for a minute. Or be a Zuri, exactly. Yeah. So you uh -huh. do you. Mm -hmm. You can smile. You yeah. can just fill the story yeah. and show us how it's done, okay? Oh, okay. It's right there. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> um, I start? Yes. <laughs> um, a story has often been told in the past few months of an investor in Moiga Keni constituency in Nyeri County whose quarry crusher has reportedly been causing sleepless nights among locals. The climax of the complaints being the closure of operations at the crusher pending further investigations leading to loss of millions. Tonight, KTN's Ibrahim Karana tells of a painful story of an investor whose investment is almost tumbling due to what he terms as political undertones. In Nyeri's Keni constituency. Yes.